This is the largest such action in our nation's history. Maryland Governor Wes Moore ordering more than 175,000 statewide pardons Monday, focused on Marylanders convicted of misdemeanors tied to marijuana possession and paraphernalia charges. In a news conference two days before Juneteenth, Moore said the action aims to address the disproportionate impact the state's drug policies have had on people of color. This is about changing how both government and society view those who have been walled off from opportunity because of broken and uneven policies. The Biden administration has been pushing for governors and local leaders to take similar steps to erase marijuana convictions. Maryland now joining nine other states and some cities where officials have since granted clemency. Nobody should have to go to jail for smoking weed. At a White House roundtable earlier this year, Vice President Kamala Harris also called on the DEA to reschedule marijuana, calling it absurd and patently unfair that cannabis is still classified in the same category as heroin. I cannot emphasize enough that they need to get to it as quickly as possible. The calls for marijuana reform come as a recent Pew Research poll shows just 42 percent of Republicans favor legalizing marijuana for both medical and recreational use, compared to 72 percent of Democrats and Democratic leaners. People really need to understand that there are dangerous products being sold that are called hemp. If marijuana is rescheduled, it would limit the punishment for those found guilty of being in possession. In New York, Kevin Uretsky, Fox News.